Hey, John Hickok here. We're going to take a look at a really cool special gun that's a part of a collection of guns. It's even neater. The uh, Davy Colts. You should be familiar with those from uh, some other videos on our channel. Uh, but these are uh, some Colt single actions that Dad ordered around the time that my son was born so that we would each have one. Uh, and uh, you know, Dad, of course, chose the seven and a half inch barrel. I chose the four and three quarter because it's my favorite. And then Davey got what was left, which is the five and a half. And in some ways, is the most beautiful um, of the three. But I've always preferred the four and three quarter because I've always liked the kind of clean look of, you know, the ejector housing going right up against against the barrel, kind of like a tactical shotgun with a barrel and the mag tube is the same uh, same length. And uh, this is the configuration that I, for some reason, always stuck in my mind, you know, from the, the movies and everything. Okay, let's take some shots with this thing. I know that's what you want to see. Now, I, I really struggle to shoot these. Um, you know, I do okay with the uh, the seven and a half inch, but I really struggle with the four and three quarter. I don't know what it is. I mean, these things feel amazing. They're one of the best feeling guns out there, but I don't shoot them that well. I, just, I don't know. I guess I don't do it a lot. That could be part of it, but I, I struggle with them. I tend to want to pull them left, and also it's inconsistent with a lot of guns. You know, if I tend to pull it left or, you know, or high or something like that, it, it's consistent. And I know it's something I have to constantly work on when I'm shooting that particular gun. But with the Colts, it's like, it's it's all over the place, it seems like. You know, it's, it's really it's really difficult to kind of gauge or whatever. So I've never really gotten great at shooting these. All right, start out on something very close, like this two liter right here. <laughs> See, I even missed that. Let's get the other one. All right. Not too terrible after after the worst the first shot, which was the definitely the worst shot. Uh, also, I want to announce something real quick. Um, that uh, of course, as a lot of you know, we're in this uh, still kind of in this crazy lockdown and everything. As I talk to you, you know, in uh, late May, May twenty something. Who who knows what dates are anymore. Uh, but I want to let you know that I that I uh, finally have a, a stand-up comedy show booked, and it's the first one since all this craziness has happened. And I would love to see you guys there and see how rusty I am uh, uh, telling jokes. And it's uh, it's in Huntsville, Alabama. It's on May 30th at a place called Shenanigans Comedy Theater, and the show starts at 8 o'clock. Go to my Instagram, John J O H N underscore H I C K O K four five. Um, on Instagram, and you'll see posts about it. So I'd love to see you guys down in Huntsville, May 30th at 8 o'clock. Ash shenanigans. All right. Had to, had to plug that because that's, that's a big deal. It's nice to be back in the game. You know, live entertainment and things like that are starting to, starting to come back. You know, it's been a crazy world for the past couple of months. But we're still here shooting guns. Been doing it the whole time. All right, let's shoot the uh, paper target. Now you guys can really see uh, my limitations with these things. It wasn't quite as bad as I expected, but definitely not good. <laughs> um, it's, it's an interesting phenomenon where can have a pistol that feels amazing but then you don't shoot it well you know it's a point that I've always tried to make to people about Glocks you know people that are inexperienced sometimes or sometimes experienced they'll pick up a Glock and be like ah it doesn't feel good I'd rather get this you know, other gun or I mean I shouldn't use Glock as an example but any gun you know but a lot of times it's Glocks that they'll say this about and uh, I always say it doesn't matter what it feels like. It's not a glove. It's not a, a seat. It's not a lazy boy that you're going to spend hours in. Who cares how it feels? It only matters how do you shoot it and how does it fit your needs uh, for a handgun. I, Glocks feel terrible to me too, but I, but I shoot them very well. And guns like this feel amazing. It's a dream, you know, but I don't shoot it that well. So that's really kind of not that important, to be honest, how comfortable the gun feels in your hand, I don't think. But I love the history of these things, and they are very pointable. And I and I think a lot of what the reason that I struggle shooting it is simply I don't shoot them that much, and they're so vastly different from what I would normally shoot. 
All right, let's shoot. Uh, let's, let's take out this pot right here. All right. I would definitely be more of a rifleman if I was in back in the the western days. That's for sure. I love a good lever action, but gotta have a sidearm. All right, let's shoot. Uh, those lead stuff, shoot some of this jacketed ammo. Uh, one thing that people will say about these is, uh, like, don't you know Sam Colt died in the 1860s and he didn't actually design the 1873 Colt single action? And that is true, but everything about the Colt single action that people love for the most part, as far as the ergonomics and the shape of the grip and the action and all those sorts of things, you know, comes from previous designs like the 1851 that Sam Colt definitely uh, did design, you know, and uh, it's a, it's, just, it's a beautiful work of art and it's such an iconic piece and, and it's, it's so associated with the West, which again, it's like, it's like, uh, you know, it's like such an interesting time because of uh, technologically advancing with firearms and then just in general and, uh, uh, as you can see, I'm getting emotional just talking about now. It's like, it's just a very special, it's a special gun, you know what I mean? So it doesn't even matter if you don't shoot it that well. Now that was a damn good excuse. Did you like that? I mean, that's, that's as good as excuses get, I feel like. You should respect that. All right. You're like that's how fast I would shoot it if I was good at shooting it. I just wanted you guys to see that. That's an important thing to, to know about. Uh, but I, I'm sure I would get better at it if I if I practice it more. And uh, and also just kind of more back on the topic of the video. I mean, it's, it's such a neat thing, you know, to have these. Uh, you know, I, I love I love guns. You know, with as it relates to the importance of the Second Amendment, all those kinds of things, and I also love them as a collectible thing. It's just an item, a, a piece of art and history and all that stuff, like I was saying earlier. Um, and I feel like, too, there, there's different reasons you might get someone, like uh, like your son or, or a member of your family, like a younger member of your family, it could be a cousin or something like that, a firearm. Um, one would be because it's a good uh, pistol or rifle to start with, like a 22 long rifle or something like that. Uh, but another reason, which would be more in the category of something like this, is it, it would be something that would stay relevant longer in their life. Like I have 22 rifles that I started out shooting and they'll always be special to me, but sometimes if you have something that is a gun, you still, like if, if dad had gotten me a Glock 19, let's, if they existed, which I think they almost did, very soon after I was born. So if dad had got me a Glock 19 for my first birthday, let's say, and I still carried it, you know, good job, dad, you screwed up big time for not getting me one. Uh, that would have been a special thing in a different way than when I go, you know, get my safe and I look at my old lever action pump 22 where I first learned to shot, you know what I mean? So it's kind of an interesting thing. And so for my son, when he gets older, you know, this will be um, different than like having a 22 or something like that, you know? If that makes any sense, uh, it's just it's very special. That's what I'm trying to say. Which is another reason why it doesn't matter if I can't shoot it well. Yeah, I'm always going to tie it back to that. All right, let's uh, let's go two hands and see if that makes it worse. Western guns are, are hard to beat, and uh, you know, just had to to show you this thing again. I know you guys hate it when I'm in the video. <laughs> You'd rather see Dad. He's holding the camera. Why isn't he in front of the camera? Why isn't he doing what he does best, and I'm doing what I do best? You know, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, it's you know, it's it's fun to be able to kind of talk to you guys and, and everything. And uh, occasionally, I don't want to bother you too much with with my with my presence. Um, but you know, it, we respect each other's positions more. Assuming we do this, so it makes the entire package even better, right? 
I guess, I don't know. That's probably not true. But, uh, you know, I really appreciate you guys watching and taking an interest in the stuff that we've been doing here on this channel, you know, for all, the, all these years and putting up with the things that you don't like uh, because of the things that you do like and, and uh, vice versa. I don't know if that applies, but I, uh, I appreciate you guys, all of you, and it's, it's raining, and um, I'll see you guys on the next video. Oh, yeah, that's better. This is a great gun for defense. Oh, hey, didn't see you guys there. Uh, while I've got you here, I want to remind you of our friends over at Talon Grips and Ballastall. Talon Grips makes uh, grips, can you believe it, uh, for all different types of firearms. You can get rough texture or more of a rubberized texture. Uh, it just sticks right on there. You know, really affordable, really cool option to in improve the grip for your handguns uh, or, or rifles. Uh, so please check them out at TalonGunGrips.com. You'll be glad you did. And also Ballastol. Uh, Dad has been using Ballastol for many years. It's a cleaner and a lubricant, and it's non-toxic. Uh, it works really great, and we're happy to have them on board since it's been a part of our shooting endeavor for a very long time. So go to Ballastol.com, TalonGunGrips.com. And also, while you're out there, I'm juggling all these things here. Also, uh, while you're on the internet, please do check out our other social media like Hickok45 on Facebook. There's also Hickok45 on Twitter, the real Hickok45 on Instagram. There's a John underscore Hickok45 on Instagram where I do some things. There's Hickok45.com. Uh, you can find us also on GunStreamer. So check out all that stuff and then watch more videos.